Hi everyone, I'm Judy, Addicted to Puzzles. Um, I just wanted to come on today and actually update you on my progress of the 60,000 piece What a Wonderful World puzzle. And I'm just doing this real quick for my phone. I didn't want to um, edit a lot of video because I'm working on um, a pretty hard section right now. It's the bag 37 all map section. So it's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I really want to say thank you so much for all of you who are following along because that really means a lot to me. It's definitely kept me going. It's been really exciting seeing all the comments and um, just the love that people have for puzzles like I do. So it's been really great. So thank you very much. Um, I want to also ask you to answer a couple of questions that people have had. Um, basically, one of the questions I've had is, um, how am I storing my puzzle while I'm working on it? So I'm going to show that to you, how I uh, stack my foam boards on my table. And then probably what I'll do, I don't know, probably after the fifth section, I think I'll wrap them all up in shrink wrap and then tape it and then kind of start over with the next five sections. So let me show you how I have this. Okay. Okay. So like I said, that's the big map I'm working on. Um, basically I have my foam core board. So there's one, two, three, four. So in these four sections on these four boards, there'll be 16 puzzles total. Um, when I finish this, yeah, when I finish this punt. And then I'm going to put one more board on top of it. So there'll be five and then there'll be 20 sections. Um, so I'll probably have at the end um, three, you know, sections of five <laughs> um, stacked up together. And we shrink wrap them. We shrink wrap them real good and then put tape on them. That way um, no pieces fall out and they stay very tight. And then once we're ready to actually um, lay the puzzle out, which will probably be in our driveway, then we can, um, you know, just lay it out real quick and put tape over the foam board so that there is no gap and all that good stuff. So that's our, that's my plan right now. And also I had a question on the order that I'm going in because I'm not going in like, you know, consecutive order. Um, I decided that it would probably be easier if I went from the whole top row to the second, the middle row, and then did the bottom row last. So let me show you what I mean. All right, so I've done these four, one, two, six, and seven first, and then I moved to the second four, and those four are also done. And right now I'm working on bag 37. Um, so I'll do that whole top row the same way. And then I'll skip down to the middle rows, these four. And I'll do that whole middle row all the way to the end. So then I'll all of a sudden be back on bag three and four. And then I'll do the bottom row, five, 10, 15, 20, all the way to 60 and I think that's a good order it'll be really easy to lay it out that way um, yeah I think that'll be the best so basically I'm kind of on the hardest parts right now with all these land formations I haven't done Europe yet so that'll be Friday because I'm not gonna puzzle on Thanksgiving um, and then 42 will also be hard but then it's gonna get easier with all the puzzles without land and then I'll have more land in China and Africa and the United States and then South America down there so all in all I think it's gonna be um, I don't really mind the land after doing so much of it it's been kind of fun um, if you watch my time-lapse videos you might notice that I don't sort I just kind of take the pieces that I want and then put them in. And then if they don't fit, I might move them to the side or put them back in the box. Um, I haven't kind of been puzzling like that for years and years. I, that's just how I do it. I don't sort though. Um, I admire the people who sort and put 
all the pieces in order and everything. I think it's amazing, but I don't have patience for that. Honestly, I just, um, I just like picking out the box and then I shuffle my puzzles around kind of like Vicky from Vicky makes and builds. She's a shuffler too. So we're just shuffling together. <laughs> um, I guess that's about it for now. I'll come back on probably, I haven't done a lot of videos and I'm really sorry, but by the time I, I'm almost done with this section, then I, it's time to pick up my son from school. And so I come back and I do the, um, I finish the section if I need to, and then I do the video and then I just kind of take the rest of the night off from puzzling. So I've been trying to do like two puzzles in a day, but that has not happened yet, even a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to keep trying though. Um, thank you guys for following along. It really means a lot. And I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates Thanksgiving and, um, have a great Black Friday weekend also. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of puzzles on sale, so go puzzle shopping. All right. Happy puzzling and happy Thanksgiving. Bye, y'all.